what is a hazmat suit and why are they used a hazmat suit short for the hazardous material suit is a whole body garment designed to protect the wearer against dangerous materials or substances a hazmat suit is an overall garment worn to protect people from hazardous materials or substances including chemicals biological agents or radioactive materials it is a form of personal protective equipment or ppe which is often used by firefighters emergency medical crews paramedics researchers personnel responding to toxic spills specialist cleaning up contaminated facilities and workers in toxic environments hazmat suits protect from chemical agents nuclear agents biological agents and fire or high temperature suits vary depending on the task and the level of risk suits are often gas tight to ensure the user will not come into direct contact with or inhale dangerous substances they can offer the ability to be in high temperature due to the materials they are made out of and have different ways of supplying air to the wearer to ensure they are breathing fresh uncontaminated air types of hazmat suits in detail in europe suits are classified by type numbers 1 to 6 type 1 protects against liquid and gaseous chemicals gas tight equivalent to us level a type 2 protect against liquid and gaseous chemicals non gas tight type 3 protects against liquid chemicals for a limited period liquid tight type 4 protects against liquid chemicals for a limited period spread tight more or less equivalent to us level c type 5 protects against liquid chemicals for a limited period only covers the body partially type 6 protects parts of the body against liquid chemicals in the united states suits are classed by levels a to d level a vapor tight providing total encapsulation and a high level of protection against direct and airborne chemical contact level b not vapor tight and thus provide a lesser level of protection level b suits are worn with an scba which may be inside or outside of the suit depending on the type of suit level c includes coveralls or splash suits providing a lesser level of protection then level b and are typically worn with a respirator or gas mask only level d doesn't constitute a hazmat suit requiring only specific wear clothing and eye or splash protection higher and however hazmat suits used one hospitals especially in the times of covid hospitals are where we are most likely to see hazmat suits in our day to day lives Infectious disease physicians who are closely with patients carrying highly infectious diseases while physicians study symptoms onset and other information to learn more about the illness and facilitate treatment two outbreaks when ebola struck west africa in 2016 hazmat suits with medical grade protection were life savers medical personnel and other volunteers mobilized across the continent to lend any assistance they could which meant close contact with patients suffering from the ravages of ebola 3 wear time as a precaution against possibly exposure to threats like sarin and mustard gas troops wear issued various kinds of hazmat suits and other equipments that provided protection from poisonous weapons 4 firefighters firefighters use various pieces of hazmat equipment defending on the type of emergency to which they are responding although their fire fighting outwear is primarily composed of different technology 5 pest control technician pest control technicians often work in confined spaces and with hazardous chemicals certain chemicals require a hazmat suit to protect them from chemical burns or inhalation 6 asbestos worker Asbestos is a fibrous silicate material used in the construction that is a hazard when it is inhaled or gets on the skin. Asbestos workers often wear full hazmat suits when working with the substance to minimize contact, especially respiratory contact. 
7. Chemist Chemists design and create chemical cleaners, solvents, industrial chemicals, and other substances. Chemists often wear hazmat suit to protect against these irritants and maintain a safe work environment. 8. Nuclear Engineers Nuclear engineers handle radioactive materials and create nuclear devices. Radioactive materials present a risk to personal health and safety and thus require a hazmat suit in most interactions. These engineers work as part of a larger team to design, build and maintain nuclear systems. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe this channel to get more updates and if you like these videos, please share with your friends.